my name is Eric Obelink. Um, I'm from Barcelona. Uh, it's where I actually am I'm living in. And um, the title I would say for my job would be a technician, technician, technician and researcher in agroecology. Agroecology is uh, a field um, in the field of um, environmental sciences that works with small farmers um, to encourage um, public policies and actions towards reinforcing um, local products, um, organic products, and changing, um, I would say, a little bit the food system, which is um, wrong right now, um, also in the context of uh, the climate crisis that we are living. And what we do in our ecology mainly is um, to try to give voice uh, to small farmers and uh, local food systems, um, trying to to make these these systems like uh, sustainable, right? Um, we work in cities, but we mainly work in rural areas. Um, and my, my this is my job title or description, and I would say that my uh, professional background is um, exactly environmental sciences. I hold a degree in the university in environmental sciences, and I also uh, hold a master degree in agroecology. Um, in the past, I've worked also in the University of BIC, um, mainly as a, um, a research assistant. I've worked um, in the field of um, livestock management, and especially extensive li livestock management, and also with bees. Um, so these are a little bit my, my expertise field, I would say. I've also traveled to Brazil and I've worked for two years in Brazil with local communities and peasant communities. And um, I've uh, mainly worked with them and trying to connect um, marketing circuits, which means um, um, like facilitating the way they are selling and, and, and uh, transporting um, the food that they grow in the field towards the city. I have also worked with them in water management because there was a huge problem there in Brazil with with water access, and we were working we were working in the construction of some um, like uh, water capacitors in order to uh, collect the rainwater. And so my my mainly my my professional career is about um, environmental sciences, but. Because environmental sciences are like so open, um, I've worked in, in in different areas, right? But mainly, it's it, I've worked in in agroecology. I always considered myself like a uh, um, climate activist. I would say from from the very start of the of the university when I started studying environmental sciences, I was. Uh, deeply interested in in what was happening with the climate, right, and participating a lot in social movements and the claims about climate justice, and also in in I would say in, in, in the other hand, I was um, very deeply interested about food and how to grow food. I always liked um, gardens. I have my own garden also, which is a community garden with 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 some friends. Where we grow food, and I always like like this um, rural perspective, right? In, in in how to to grow this food. So I would say, from the hand of climate justice and from the hand of of my uh, interest in food, this became like um, what I work right now, which is um, I would say like uh, having both of them um, join, right? Um, also, from a social perspective, I always um, considered, um, I would say, the social justice perspective, right? And having a lot in mind what's happening in other countries in an you know, international level. So, I would say the, um, the main inspiring thing is uh, this change, change the system, right? Um, change the paradigm, change the model applied to food.
I always am in a hurry. <laughs> That's why I I had I have I have little little time to to think, and I have to like manage myself to to organize myself. Um, uh, super good. Um, I think my 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 day, my typical day, it's not typical in the sense that it's never the same. Um, maybe I am um, in phone calls. Maybe I am attending meetings or maybe I am communicating with my colleagues because I, I work in a team. We are six persons and we are constantly working one with, with the other, uh, depending on the project, right? But this means a lot of communication with them, lots of phone calls. Um, but apart from phone calls and meetings, I would say um, the main, mm, the main thing in my job is uh, visiting farmers and talking to them. Um, I do a lot of field visits, I, I take the car, I go to the place, I speak with farmers, I interview them, I see with them which are uh, their needs, and then I collect them, right? So I, I, I spend my a lot of time like writing and systematizing all the information that I've been collecting in the field. Um, also working with my with my colleagues in this and coordinating all the all the tasks with them. Um, this is one part, and the other part I would say it's uh, I also give um, provide classes in the university in in some masters, so I have to prepare these classes, prepare powerpoints, presentations, uh, going to the classes, um, like uh, presenting them, also working with with students uh, a lot, uh, like trying to orientate them when they have um, when they want to work in my field. And I also um, provide uh, some courses um, for uh, like a wide range of actors, not only like um, academic um, students, also in the municipalities. We work a lot in courses like regarding um, sustainable food systems. And um, what more? Yes, and attending meetings, a lot of meetings nowadays with the pandemic, it has. Um, transformed into a virtual meeting but in the past i i used to go like to a lot of places and, and being in a hurry also um attending like physical meetings right or traveling also because sometimes um, there are some meetings that are like in coordination with other organizations uh in spain or in catalonia or international so i also spend my time traveling but the i would say the the thing is that it's it's never the same. It's all it's very dynamic. My work it's always changing. So depending on the day, yeah. The most important thing in my job, or the most important skill that you you should have, is to have a um, transdisciplinary approach, which means um, being able to work from different perspectives and with different people. In my work, you don't always um, speak or work with the same kind of person. Maybe I'm, I'm working with, I'm in a more institutional level with um, public administration, and this is like a different way of talking or or write or, or writing. That if I'm talking with a farmer, uh, which is absolutely another world. Um, I also work with uh, academics, so I would say the the most important skill to have in my work is to be able to be able to to have the um, the communication um aspect like really really open and really broad um, i also work a lot with grassroots organizations which is another level right um and i think it's really key to be able to adapt yourself depending on the environment that you have this is like the most important thing and I would say the second one is like self-organizing your time. In my case, I have several colleagues, but I don't have like a, a really um, like a strict um, timeline. And as I said, my work uh, it's very variable and depends a lot on on the day. So it's like a really key aspect on how to organize yourself and, and like waking up, reading the mail and, and prioritizing which things um, must be done and are urgent, which are not, because if not, you end up like uh, doing a lot of things, but not 
attending the important things and then you, you you end up your day and you realize that you have still this thing and this thing that are not done because you lost yourselves in another task right so it's very important to organize yourselves and learning how to prioritize all these things right and another thing i would say is multitasking being able to um to do several things at a time, or at least have the perspective uh, that um, there are other tasks that, that, that you should be doing or attending while you are in a meeting, for example. And, but this has a lot to do with how to organize um, your time. And the last one I would say to be uh, proactive, to have a lot of initiative, like not standing still and waiting the work to come to you but um, looking for imaginative and creative ways to solve problems um, because if not problems come to you don't let problems come to you anticipate them and try to um, yeah to anticipate them as much as possible and to and to solve them um, prior or or, or before um, they are they arrive to you right i would say these are the most important ones and let me see if I'm missing something. Um, yeah, maybe maybe negotiation. It's a key aspect also because I'm always negotiating with uh, different kind of, of actors. Um, and maybe, yeah, all the communication skills are needed, as I said. In environmental sciences, um, it's, it's like a very open um, and broad um, science, I would say. So my colleagues, or, or, or in my case, I work in agroecology, which it has a, like a very important focus on food. But my colleagues are working in a, in a variety of different uh, kind of, of jobs, including um, chemistry, for example, radiation, um, urban planning, for example, or um, public administration um, management. Um, so it's like a very broad kind of, of, of um, career path that I could be um, attending, mainly also working with um, consultancy and helping organizations or helping um, corporations to like inc um, incorporate green um like green perspectives but i think it's like super open um everything regarding green or environmental um tasks uh, would be like the possible career paths i think in my daily lives it has a lot to do with uh, with uh, the thing i, I explained um, before it's about organizing my time and being super efficient like not spending a lot of time in things that can be done in in, in, in less time like um, and letting things pass uh, i mean don't don't distract yourself right um, and being super perfectionist is like uh, being efficient and being able to, to do a lot of work and um about challenges in in agroecology there are a lot of them but I think the most complicated thing is to is to organize logistics, which means um, in agroecology there's there's a problem with with um, because we are trying to to transform the food system right in a um, in a more local scale, and in the local scales farmers have lots of difficulties to bring their products um, to to houses or to the city. So I think the most important challenges. Uh, would be the logistic field, right? And the other important challenge is to bring um, organic products uh, to like uh, the broader society because uh, the majority of the society goes to big supermarkets, etc. And to, a, to being able to shift all this logic and uh, it requires like a lot of logistics, but a lot of a lot of work of. Um, of socializing the benefits of organic products and um, I think that are the main challenges, yeah.
first of all, engage a lot with social movements because in the end, um, it's all about the climate crisis that it's coming and it's here. And if you want to change things and understand uh, what is needed, you have to participate in social movements. And there is where you will discover mainly which are your, um, your interests, right? Um, through activism. And while you are studying, it's important to study and have a lot of knowledge. But I would say action is the best part um, or the best way to know yourself. And I think this is another piece of a great advice. Um, know yourself and, and discover what you like and what you love um, and what you would um, devote yourself. Because, of course, working is, it's, um, while working, you, you dedicate a lot of time um, of your life to it. So you have to, to be like really sure that this is what you like and that you could spend hours and hours and hours uh, with whatever task you are doing, be it researching or talking to people or um, whatever you like, right? And by the other hand, I would say um, being able to, to know or discover yourself in terms of what you can do or what you are good at, right? Um, it's not always the same that what you, are, what you love, but if you are able to find um, the junction between what you love doing and what you are good at, I think uh, you have like a prominent way ahead, of course. Nature-based solutions and in general, um, environmental actions and solutions are needed because we are in a climate crisis right now. Um, everyone is talking about climate change and there are lots of people needed with creative ideas and imaginative to create um, a new model, I would say, that um, like um, transform the current system we are that is uh, super depending on fossil fuels, um, very based in a capitalist manner where the only thing important is the benefit. And I think it's very important to change the paradigm and not only like to think in an environmental perspective, but also in a social perspective, right? In a social justice perspective and think about uh, different kind of economies, uh, of economy, which is uh, not only sustainable in, in like um, environmental matters, but also in social um, bring like more, more 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 justice into the world right and i think this is a very like huge challenge that we have as a society and and we need more um certainly we need more people um working in this and studying it and bringing like um, like imaginative ideas right and it's also urgent it's a super urgent job that must be um attended right now